today we learn about globalization so what is globalization globalization is the process of interaction and integration among people companies and governments worldwide the world trade organization stimulates the trade and investment opportunities globally this increase in global interactions has caused growth in international trade and the exchange of ideas and culture indian markets are open to foreign traders The wake of globalization was first felt in 1990s in India when the finance minister Dr Manmohan Singh initiated the economical liberalization plan. India initiated the process of integration of domestic economy with the global economy since early 1990s due to balance of payments crisis, high fiscal deficit and high inflation rate. changes of agricultural economy due to globalization rice output in india hit a new record at 95.3 million tons a 7% increase from the year earlier indian farmers thus produced about 71 kilograms of wheat and 80 kilograms of rice for every member of indian population in 2011 from the monetary point of view the share of agricultural sector in the economy is raised to 14.2% of the gdp 2010 in 11 However, globalization was quite beneficial to many Indian farmers. On the other side, it affected them adversely too. So let's learn about pros and cons for Indian farmers due to globalization. Let's learn about pros. There is availability of modern agrotechnology agro technologies in pesticides, herbicides and fertilizers as well as new breeds of high yield crops were employed to increase food production. Because of the conditions of World Trade Organization all of the countries get the same opportunities so there is an increase in the export of agricultural products Now let's learn about cons Due to globalization the Indian farmers might have to force much unstable prices for these products fluctuated largely on year to year basis price volatility due to surge in import of agricultural crops thank you